Dear Jerry, it's been one year, four months, two weeks, three days, one hour and 56 minutes since you left. You haven't answered any texts or calls, and I honestly hate not waking up to your loving face every morning. Since you left, things have changed. I got closer to Kelly, Kylie, and Will. The reason I'm writing this is to tell you, I've always loved you and I always will. But the pain is unbearable, so I'm moving on. I just wanted to tell you, I'm getting married in two weeks. Hey Carter, ready for the fitting? Yeah. She's getting married. Who? Carter! And there's nothing I can do. No one has to know. But you're with my best friend. Shh. Just one tiny little kiss. Hey Kylie, how much longer before the big movie night? Just until Kelly gets here. Awesome. I'm gonna stop the wedding. Uh, Jared, you left her, remember? I always knew something wasn't right. Maybe it was the missing Jared, or maybe something else. I don't know. This is going to be the best bachelorette party ever. Agreed. Mitch, what are you doing here? I love you. You what? Carter, it's not true. I love you, not her. I just had cold feet. It doesn't matter what you say. You don't tell someone you love them if you don't. You're just blaming her for nothing. Nothing? Do you hear yourself? You just don't understand. Oh, I don't understand? How I'm once again second? I'm always second in everyone's life. I'm sick and tired of being second, Kelly. Sick of it. Jared? Carter. Carter, I was stupid. Please, I love you. You are the only one I need. Please, I'm in love. I love you too. And I knew right then, my savior, my heart, my life, was always him. And without him, I'm nothing. But with him, I blossom brighter than any other rose in the garden.